My name is Kitty Merrill. I'm the television production specialist for Oxnard College. We first went on air 6 a.m. in September 1986. My first job was to sit down and figure out how to create a channel with next to no money. And we did things like taking over the library storage room, taking VCRs from the uh, Learning Resource Center, using library shelving instead of racks. Much of the equipment had been taken out of boxes, but it really hadn't been put into use. We made sure everything was wired, and we sat down, and Kitty says, do the honor, and I hit the button, and pff, OCTV TV was warm. <laughs> I remember, like, you know, painting the, the uh, North Hall 6. I remember, you know, trying to get the new Max in, working with the new Final Cuts, and trying to, you know, get more equipment with Andres. And um, Oxnard College is basically where it all starts. There's a sense of professionalism in, in Kitty's way of teaching. I would think that she's not at a university level. Um, we've had learning there in a couple of years, but uh, other students don't get to learn in many years, and the hands-on especially, you know. With experience from here, I have all the fundamentals that I need to go out there and you know, kick some butt at Northridge. I was a student here for two years and transferred to Loyola Marymount University. When I graduated from LMU in 2008, I came back to Oxnard College because I wanted to attend the film and television program. I wanted to get into film and television and I knew that they had a program that would offer me experience, hands-on experience. Estudié como todos y hay que buscar el trabajo y si se cierra una puerta abrir otra y continuar estudiando. This program, you know, taught me a lot about just the basics of, of production, you know, film and video. Once you're in school, you learn the basics. That will give you the, the, uh, the tools to, to get a job. Once you're on the job, then you, get the, uh, you learn more. To get a job, you need to go to school. Without a school, you can't get a job. When I left Oxnard, I got accepted into the cinematography option at Cal State Northridge, first time I applied. And I was able to transfer many of my courses. I was able to go into many of the classes already well ahead of many of the other students, built on the foundation of Oxnard College and the television program and their professors. When I was getting my uh, diplomas, I find out that I was going to be the first student to graduate from Oxnard College from telecommunications. And uh, I've been working for uh, Chemex Channel 34 Univision for 15 years in LA and five in Fresno. Director of photography slash camera operator. I work for the City of Thousand Oaks, TOTV, that's Thousand Oaks Television. I'm a senior video production specialist. Basically, I'm the videographer that does most of the training and uh, informational and promotional videos, whatever the Navy requires me to do for NAPSI. I work for the City of Oxnard. Part-time production coordinator. I'm currently a student at Cal State Northridge, and I am an Oxnard College OCTV alum. KTLA Los Angeles. I work at the uh, TOC Technical Operations Center. My name is Andres Orozco, and I am a full-time faculty member in the film and television department here at Oxnard College. My name is Andrew Jimenez, and I am a uh, film student here at Oxnard College. After just one semester, I fell in love with it and wanted to keep going with it. I knew that I wanted to do film, and ever since then, that's all I've been sure of is film. Some of my students, they go into the workforce right away, and some of them transfer to a university. Our program is unique because it's both locational and transferable. Well, I was laid off from a job that I was at for six years. So I decided to go back to school and get trained in a new field. And that's when I started taking classes here at Oxnard College for television. I got plenty of skills and the right skills that I needed to prepare me because it is a program that is producing jobs. My name is Juan Smith. I'm a student in the film and television program at Oxnard College, and I am also a student worker. So right now I'm finishing up uh, some television courses and then some general ed courses, and um, transfer to university, maybe CSUN or USC, one of the two, and eventually I want to make a career out of uh, cinematography or something to do with film and television because ever since coming to here from high school, it's been my passion. I just graduated from high school last year, and. My senior year I was in independent studies and I took a class here at Oxnard College and it was the film and television program. My plans for the future are to um, 
finish my two years here with general education and hopefully get a degree in film and television and transfer on to um, a four-year university. In Sacramento, it's a line in one of thousands of pages of state budget documents, but at Oxnard College, the film and television studies program and classes are what many of the 100-plus enrolled students see as the path to their futures. But film and TV studies student Juan Smith says their program is one of eight at Oxnard College tentatively slated for shutdown as the college wrangles with state budget cuts. When I heard the film and television program might be discontinued, I was sad. This program has gotten me more into my education, more into my future than anything has in my entire life. When I heard about the film and television program being discontinued, I was pretty upset because I just started the program and I'm in love with it. It was such a blow when we're in the middle of inventing the 25th anniversary celebration to have this news that the program was in jeopardy. It's been a hard year. And when it comes to decision making, when it comes to budgetary uh, decisions, we should come together and find out what is working, what is best for our community, and um, where the money should be uh, emphasized. It'll be a shame to see it end now, and it is just you know about to take a really major step forward. The taxpayers finally came up with a vision that Oxnard deserves something that would be dignified for us to have. We just had our opening. And instead of, if you build it, they will come, it's if you build it, then we'll take away the stuff that's supposed to go in it. And it's like, it just doesn't even make sense. To hear that that might happen, it's, it's really heartbreaking because these kids, they don't deserve it. Nobody deserves it. I've only got another semester to go and I'm done with the program. But I still got friends in high school and they hear about all the things I'm doing, all the opportunities I've been given, and they're getting really excited about going to college and maybe checking out the program. And I want to make sure it's still around for them to take to. And you want to, you know, get within your creative soul. How can you do that if you don't have the arts available to everybody in the community? A lot of my students, they really can't see themselves doing anything else but make films. And when you take that away from them, you're, you're taking away, you know, you're taking away their dream. When I heard that the program was gonna close, I really felt disappointed because um, I know that that program helped my dad to be where he's at right now. You know, you're talking to some people that that wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for Oxnard College Television. To me, Oxnard was my home and allowed me to develop my skills in there uh, that has taken me to where I am now. This makes me really proud of my dad and, and I wonder if I'll get to have one of these one day or at least be able to experience what my dad experienced when he got this Emmy. When they call our names, it was just amazing. It's a feeling that you can express. I've been to Africa, I've been to South America, I've been to I've been to Samoa, I've been to New Zealand, I've been to Spain, I've been to Morocco. I mean, just the list goes on and on and on, and it's only because of Oxnard College. So I wish they would consider the program because there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of kids here in Oxnard. And I'm a living proof that if you work hard, if you study, you can make it. As someone that went through the program and was able to then go on to a four-year university, get a job, pay my taxes, buy a house, as in, you know, buy a car, you know, be a functioning citizen in society. I'm, I'm the face of the guy that went to Oxnard College and did something with his life. A yes vote in this case is supportive. is supportive of Trustee Hernandez's um, motion uh, with the friendly amendment that we keep this program for a year and then and then kind of re-examine it. Trustee Hernandez? Yes. Trustee McKay? Trustee Miller? No. Trustee Perez? Yes. And Trustee Blum votes yes.
congratulations on the first 25 years. Let's have another 25 just as good. Happy birthday, OCTV. Happy 25th anniversary, OCTV. Well, happy anniversary, Oxford College Television. Happy 25th birthday to OCTV. We're in complete support of the program. May it live for another 25 years. Happy 25th anniversary, OCTV. Congratulations. Happy anniversary, Oxnard College Television. Hi, this is the Jimenez family. We would like to congratulate OCTV for the 25th anniversary. Don't get into it. <laughs>